Hi, welcome back to the MyGrow YouTube channel. My name is Shane, the founder of MyGrow. In this episode, we're going to look at two eBay mains cobs. That is, they're two uh, 50 watt uh, cobs, uh, chip on board LEDs from eBay that can be run directly from the main. So you just connect uh, full voltage from the wall, either in 220 or 110, depending on what you order. And they've got a little LED driver on board here on the chip. You got two types. One is a blurple type. So it's got bluey LEDs in the center and red ones out on the side. And we've got a white one which is uh, has a, a phosphor coating here over blue LEDs and produces a broad spectrum white light. So to test these as grow lights, what I've done is I've mounted them in our regular micro light frame. So we've put cooling paste on the back of them, mounted them onto the heatsink, wired them up to 220 volts and put the lens over the front. To test them then in terms of their output, I've measured the power consumption directly from the plug and we've hung them over the, our test area here at just at 30 centimeters over the test area and we've used our Apogee SQ500 uh, quantum sensor to take a measurement in a 6x6 grid that's 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters and a 6x6 grid equals 36 total measurements and we've measured the amount of power coming from the grow light fixture down onto this test area. We also tested the spectrum of each of the cobs. While we had the cob mounted in the uh, micro uh, light, we, um, I put the uh, Sensatec Passport spectra radiometer underneath and we measured uh, both of the LEDs for their spectral output. First one is the blurple. You see the um, spectral graph here. It's very heavy on the blue. In fact, it's over 50% blue. It's nearly 60% blue. And this means that it's not really suitable as a grow light in that you're going to get, sure, very heavy, dense growth, but the uh, power efficiency is pretty low. Blue being the least efficient of all of the spectrum for, um, for photosynthesis. So not a great spectrum for, uh, for a grow light, even for a veg grow light. It's a bit too heavy on the blue. Next we have the white cob. The white cob, much more standard. It's uh, very similar to other cobs around the same color temperature range. So this is 3.1K. So decent spectrum, no problem there. Probably not enough blue for full, full spectrum grow light, but certainly okay for, uh, for flaring. So let's have a look at the power test then. So the first one is our um, purple one and this unfortunately is very low efficiency so uh, the total power output of the light was 14 power um, and that's over 47.5 watts which is a result of 0 0.29 PPFD output per watt which is just abysmally low uh, and the way I uh, equated that was that you would need 14 of them to equate to a Migro 100, which is about 740 watts of these guys, uh, which is <laughs> a bit much to be using seven, 740 watts on a two by two. So they're not really um, at the races. Um, spectrums is not good and efficiency is terrible. So I'm gonna rule them out. The next one's then the uh, white cobs. As I said, it's a warm white. And uh, looking at the efficiency then, so the total output measured was 31.7 PPFD and that's over, it was 48.8 watts. So total um, result is an efficiency of 0 0.65 PPFD per watt. Using the same sort of uh, comparison again at uh, 32 par we're talking out about using about seven of these or about 350 watts uh, of these for a two by two. So probably not a realistic solution. Um, 
you know, they, they, they'd be okay suited for sort of uh, tasks where you're not using the lighting all the time and quite handy little things. Um, you know, you don't need a driver. Uh, you can stick them straight on somewhere. Um, as long as you've got a bit of heat dissipation, they'll be okay. And, um, <laughs> you know, they cost two euros each, I think. So, uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how they come along, if the drivers improve, if the LEDs improve in them. And uh, we might get up to something um, a bit more interesting uh, at some later stage down the line. But for the moment, I don't think they're really feasible unless you get free electricity and you like making large grow lights uh, with lots of, uh, lots of LEDs on them um, and lots of wiring, etc. all that stuff. So, yeah, not really worth it. So, hope you enjoyed. Happy to test other stuff. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below and take care. Cheers.